Hello. Welcome to Math 142. This is an orientation video that um, I recorded to show you what to do to get ready for the class. I'll go through how you can register for your online homework and also uh, the types of calculator that you should purchase. Um, so first of all, let's do the online homework registration. So what you do is you search for my stat lab. You can also start search for my stat my math lab, but my stat lab and my math lab are actually the same. And then you uh, click on get register. You would be presented with this uh, screen, and you just want to make sure that you have your email address, a valid email address, uh, a course ID that I will give you, which is Chan two one one three nine, and then uh, access code or credit card. You click on OK register now. They would remind you that you still need these three things, and then the course ID that you should get is Chan two one one three nine. Type it in here, and then you say continue. Now, uh, if you have a Pearson account before, you would just log on to your account with your uh, email address and password. If you have never used my Stat Lab or my Math Lab, you would need to create a new Pearson account. Um, basically, you the most important thing is your email address. Okay, and um, oh, I'm gonna go back because I have an account. So after you create it, oh, the next things you want to make sure is you are signing up to my class Chan two one one three nine. The description should be DBC Summer two thousand eighteen. So I'm gonna use my uh, old Gmail account that I set up myself. sign in but if you have a PSN account after you set it up they you will be presented with this screen this is the most important screen to uh, uh, during the setup so if you want to pay with credit card you can pay credit card now um, the after you sign up and paying this you would have an ebook so there's an e-text comes with it so you do not need to buy a new book um, you can also use an access code from uh, if you buy an access code from the bookstore. The third option is to get temporary access without payment for 14 days. So you can click on this. It's at the bottom of the screen. So make sure that you have it um, set up. That you click on the bottom, and then they would ask you, "Do you really want to?" You say yes, and then. You will don't have to pay, and you would get access to your online homework. So you should uh, have this space as this screen. Uh, this is your course, and then you just click on. Uh, just make sure that it is Math 142, 1054 by K Chan. Go to my course. So this would be the course DBC Summer 2018 Math 142. You click on it. You will you are log on to my math lab for doing online homework. Um, so the assignment, the homework assignment, online homework assignment is here. So you click on this lab bar assignments, it will show up. Okay. So right now I have set up uh, orientation homework that you can you know do to oh uh, work on how to do how to use these systems. Um, Question six. So, if so, so if you want to look at um, a question, so that's how you do it. You click on the question, and um, so at the number they say, well, at the number, so they can create a calculation for you, or you can copy it into Excel, or you can copy it into StatCrunch, you can copy to clipboard. Now for us, because we're not using any of these, we're not using Excel or StatCrunch, so what you do is you use your calculator and then do the uh, calculation and put the answer here. Once you do that, let's say, I'm just going to put in a random number, you say check answer and they would tell you whether it is correct or not. After you do check answer and you get everything okay, then you can move on to the second one. The second question, or you can go back to the Oh, question. So that's how you do it. Once you answer a question, I think it is saved already. Okay. 
Um, the this system also gives you a, a chapter content. So this is how you look at the book. Uh, or you want to click on e-text. It's the same thing. You can look at the book online. Um, I don't particularly use the book because I have my lecture slides. But if you're interested in reading the book, you can do that. Um, another useful tools that the system provides is multimedia library. Uh, some students in the past has told me that they like to look at some of the uh, section video lectures. I actually have used them one time when I was sick. Um, they don't have everything that is needed for the book, but they do have some really good video. So if you're absent on a day, you can try. Um, it's not complete, but it's better than nothing. And if you if you are ready to upgrade your systems to, you know, um, full access or permanent access, you would do a purchase options, and you can, um, oh, you can purchase your online, uh, your book, the hard copy book. Um, so that's how you do. And StatCrunch is a system that comes with it that helps you to do some. Uh, statistic calculation, but we don't use it. So for Math 142, the most important thing you need to use is assignment and also chapter content if you want to look at the book. Otherwise, it's just assignment. Okay. So the due dates is here. The assignments are here. You can just place yourself on uh, uh, on the days that is due. Now on the day that is due, you would, the grade book score would say overdue. But if it is if this is blue, you can click on it. You can improve your grade, or you can still work on your homework question. Okay, so I'm gonna log off now. The second thing you need to do uh, to get ready for Math 142 is to buy a graphing calculator. So the graphing calculator is um, let's just go to Amazon. that we use is TI-84. So there are a lot of, to just search TI-84 calculator, you would have, so this is the, this is the one that we would use, Texas Instrument TI-84 plus graphing calculator. If you, if you don't want to buy TI-84 plus, you can just do it, TI-84 is sufficient. Um, another one that is popular is T eighty four plus C E. This is this is a colored one, so the graph that you plot is in color, but they're basically the same. Um, lowest price? Oh, this is what uh, lowest price Texas Instrument is not. What what is the difference? T eighty four plus graphing code the black. I think that it's the same, but I don't know why this is cheaper. But it's around a hundred dollar. Um, you can also buy with a lot of different options. You can also buy TI-83, which is much cheaper. See, this new one with the uh, uh, package is TI-83 is $94. It is harder to use. It's not as, you know, convenient as a TI-84, but basically the function is the same. And there is one or two program that is not available on it, but I have, um, I, I can download it for you. Okay, so TI-83 or TI-84. I heard that it's cheaper to buy on eBay, so just get it ready. Now, before you have it available on the first day of class or the second day, if you don't have it ready, uh, get a scientific calculator in class because we will need to do some calculations. By the second day, third day, and actually most uh, minimum, the the second week, you have to have a TI-84 calculator. Okay, so that's it. Um, sign up for my math lab and um, get your TI-84 calculator to get ready. Um, the third thing I want to talk about is Canvas. So if you log on to the, if you are on the DVC website, Canvas is here, so you can log on Canvas. And there are a lot of materials already available on campus. Your your version might be a little bit different from mine because mine is an instructor version. So you after you log on in the dashboard, you should see a ten 
54 elementary probability with this logo or this image, which is the image of the book. And then you should have a uh, announcement, week one announcement, uh, syllabus, introduction, the link to uh, do my math lab or my stat lab, chapter one lecture slides, and also some formula already uh, available. So you can look at them, you can download them if you want to. For the lecture slides, I, us if I usually update them if I see needed, but for the most part, they are ready. Um, some people like to print out before class to use it during lecture. Some people just want to browse it, uh, it uh, on con in conjunction with the lecture. Okay, so that's all you need for our Math 142 class, and I will see you in June 18, Monday.